Welcome, welcome, my lovely viewers, young and old, brand new, or those who just jumped in. Uh, you click on this video because you already knew where this is going. You can tell by the title. But let's not start with that. Let's start by the viewers who've been following me. Actually, I guess that kind of puts the newer viewers on the spot. So maybe we should just be universal about this. Let me start over. Hello, hello, my lovely viewers. Those who would be, are, or previously have been members of my lovely faction, the connoisseurs of the culture. Welcome, for I am the voice you can't forget, the lovely V, aka Vi, aka Big Daddy V, aka... Yeah, that guy. AKA Vitamin DGR, back at it again, because you wanted more, because I wanted more, and this happened. This is happening now, and boy, oh boy, am I glad to be back. Bayo, welcome back. Apologize I had some tech issues, but why digress? Now, let's hope that nothing happens this time, because technically this is take two, so let's just move on. For those wondering what kind of guy I am, I don't really know myself. Uh, I have a nice voice, I play various games, I like to think I'm a chill person. I don't know, you guys give me some compliments, but that's neither here nor there. What matters is... You guys clicked on this video because you guys were like, wait, is this real? For those who are new to this, yes, just to showcase this, I am old school. This is not an emulator. This is legitimately me playing the Sly Cooper games, granted on PS3, because I only have it for PS3. Please don't mind the Full Metal Alchemist background that I have. Yes, it's legit. Yes, this is a real PS3. No, this is not an emulation. And yes, this is not an edit. Like, I have the ability to edit any of this. Come on. But yes, for those who were wondering and you clicked on this video, yes, for those that are new to this, eh, you're probably wondering why I'm going with this, so humor me. For a while now, I have been doing a Sly Cooper marathon, where I've been playing the past Sly Cooper games. Quite a few of them, actually, and oh, it's been so much fun. It actually wasn't that long ago that I actually just beat Sly 2, and I was just so hyped, like... God, Sly 2 got me so excited and motivated that I thought to myself, oh, well, I did an episode, I can call it a day, but I realized I want more. I really want more. But let me start by telling you a tale. Imagine a young guy with delusions of becoming a voice actor slash announcer slash decent reader made a hobby to become a good streamer and content creator. Imagine that at one moment he decided, I want to play the Sly Cooper games. And imagine some good odd months ago, he started all with Sly Cooper and the devious Raccoonus, a uh, Gazuntite, because obviously you can't say that without at least stuttering. But yes, imagine that same young man decided, you know what, I should give this game a good darn damn good run, and see how many viewers are looking forward to it, and believe you me, we all were in the same boat, loved every minute of it, but... We wanted more. Oh God, we did we want more so badly. But luckily the glorious Sun Sorrow as well as Sucker Punch answered the call. And thanks to it, we were able to continue further with the recently played Sly 2 Band of Thieves. And for those wondering, you can catch the videos on part of my Sly Cooper Visits playthrough on my YouTube. But that's not here nor there. No, what matters now is we have beaten Sly Cooper 1, we have beaten Sly Cooper 2, and you all knew this was happening. But for any newer viewers that decided not to watch the past two, and maybe this game that you're about to watch is your jam, then I hope it is because today we are starting a brand new premiere with Sly 3 Honor Among Thieves. Oh, and for those wondering about the collection, yes, so I'm playing this on PS3. It's the Sly Cooper collection, which comes with the full thing of Sly 1, Sly 2, Sly 3, and minigames. Which, unfortunately, I can't do this till I do Sly 3, but I can do all of these, even though I have no clue what these are, so I'm actually a little curious. Uh, ooh. Well, I can play as everybody. Uh, well, I mean, come on. No clue what these minigames are. Uh, I had this collection, but I never played the collection when I was young. A uh, Guru Dark Shooter. Shoot the enemy, not the Guru. Oh no, it's a shooter game. Oh no, this is bad. How do I shoot? Oh no, this is not what I expected this minigame to be. Oh, well. Oh, it stops me. Oh, this sucks. I did not expect this to be a thing. Huh. I am... Oh, man, 
is not as responsive as I want it to be. Oh god, I had nightmares about this back in Jack 3. Uh, Jack 2 or 3. Oh, uh, no, no. This is... God, just... Slow, slow down! Just stop for a second! Oh, it's like my fan base that I dream of. Eventually they'll be like, TV, sign my things! Uh, uh, slow down! It's too fast! Oh god, this is so ridiculous. Oh, this... I, I, I don't even... I'm not even gonna... I'm just gonna watch this. Look at this! Look at this ridiculousness! How do you not shoot good people? Cool. Well, this is a thing. But yeah, uh, the slide collection comes with mini games you can play with your friends. I think it's up to two players. I don't. A hundred. No, actually, I think it's up to four players. I don't know. I think it's up to four players. Well, I'm definitely not replaying that. Uh, I did unlock this because this was slide one. You get this off the bat. This you had to beat slide two. This I think you had to beat slide two, and you have to get this for slide three. Oh yeah, it does do up to four players. All right, cool. Well, yeah, that's uh, that's that's gonna stop now. But I don't know. Maybe in the future I might jump back into these. Most likely not, but I don't know. Anyway, you guys didn't click on this video to see the weird mini games. You guys clicked on this video because we are starting the brand new premiere of Sly Three: Honor Among Thieves. If you've been following me this far, or if you're new to this and wish to keep going with me, then please take this opportunity to follow me on Twitch under the handle of Vitamin DGR. You could even subscribe, you know, it would definitely help out. Or maybe you're the type that's not really feeling it. Maybe you're more on the on the YouTube side of things. Well, then you can find me with the same name and handle of Vitamin DGR on YouTube. You can even like and maybe even share the video with some people. Nonetheless, you know I'm in the right place when you see the lovely love of dog. Oh, I'm so excited to play Slide 3. I'm sorry. I can't let it go. Kane Island, the South Pacific, 1.15 a.m. I can't wait to see what new capabilities we get, what new skills we get. The controls hopefully will be even better. Then again, I didn't have any issues with Slide 2. Yoink! Yoink! Phantom in the night, I strike. Mm -hmm. They'll never see me coming. <laughs> Sly Cooper, the thief. I still look the same, still all comic style, but I still dig it. I look fantastic. Wait! I still got that going on, huh? Boy, oh boy. Welcome to Sly 3 Honor Among Thieves. How's oh, so this is my uh, intro pose, huh? Boy, oh boy. Wow, that's definitely not intimidating. Uh, in case any viewers haven't been watching or aren't aware of Sly 1 or 2, let me take this opportunity to stop you from watching this and urge you to please watch my videos of Sly 1 and Sly 2 because this is a game that has a continuing story. And they will be dealing with some spoilery issues. In fact, I'll probably be saying it just to recap for those who've been watching Sly 2. But I say this right now. If you have any desire to follow the story of Sly Cooper 1 and 2, which may be like 1 or 2% of you, but I ask you to please watch the earlier videos. It will make a lot of sense. And I will say this for the sake of things. I don't plan on this video being exceptionally too long because this is just going to be the intro, but I just could not help it. Because like stated, I recently beat Sly 2 and I just could not say no. I had to do more. So, one last time, if you have a desire to watch or find out, excuse me, if you don't want to be spoiled from what happens in Sly 3, I urge you to please watch my videos of Sly Cooper 1 and 2. It would make a lot more sense. Because I already know this game's going to get there. But yes, if you guys are cool, you guys are ready for this, I know I am. Let's begin. Hey, buddy. Are in position to help you get up to that vault. For the rest of the operation, you are the ball. Roger, Bentley. I'm starting my approach. Getting over these fortress walls shouldn't be a problem. Look, mm -hmm. we're running five by five here. Make sure everyone's in sync. I hear that. Artillery, sure you can make that shot? I endeavor not to miss. I got friends? Radio control. 
In position. Recovery team. Our pump. Submersible. Your time, baby. Telekinetics. I gotta die. What? All right, it's the crime of the century, and the ball's in motion. Let's freaking do this. Ugh. Still pretty, pretty good. Now, I just beat slide two some time ago, so I'm pretty sure control should still be the same. Square. Oh, actually. Huh. Got more detail in my cane swing. Still double jump, circle. Nothing. Oh, triangle does something now. Oh! <laughs> okay. I have no clue what that does. Uh, that does do anything. R1. Our pauses. Ooh. New pause screen, too. Wait. Sorry, I like it. Okay, controls. Uh, Let's see here. Start juggle. Actually, you know what? I don't even want to look it up. I want to find out as I play. Let's just get to it. Okay, so R1's run. Again, it should be too bad considering I beat Sly uh, 2 not too long ago. Which Bayo just jumped in saying confirm it was recent. It was. It was earlier today. Uh, but I had to do it. Next jump, and then hit the circle button. Everyone knows this, and if you don't, there's been an ongoing joke I've been saying for pretty much all of the games so far, and I'll be doing it once I do slide four, but yes, this is the game where as long as you jump and hit the circle button, you will most likely win all the time. Every single time. Looks like I have friends this time. What the? Huh. I thought I pressed the circle. Oh. Whoa. Hold up. Oh, screw that. That was... We'll just pretend I didn't do that. Yeah, for those wondering, Sly apparently sucks at swimming. But this is also during a day and age where all protagonists in these kinds of games can't swim. Look at you, Jack. No, I'm just kidding. Don't mind me. Oh. You ever forget it? You just need to remember hugs and kisses? I'm my darn best, Bail. What? Whoa! Hey, watch where you're doing that next time. Sly agree to this. Also, it's nice being able to hear Bentley again. If you know, you know. And I'll probably say it once we get to a point, but there are reasons why I'm glad to hear Bentley again. Really am. Whoa! Oh, that was new. Oh, I can move when I do it. Whee! I got a little super spin attack. That's good. You haven't purchased any power-ups yet. Cool. Where I go for it. Right, what next? Ball requesting door via Agent Monarch. Over. Launching. Stand clear. Agent Monarch. Thank you, Agent Monarch. The ball continues to roll. I've got visual confirmation on the door. Nice shooting. You square to break things with your cane. Ah, oh, money! Yes! Oh no. Yeah, a lot of my viewers are probably aware of this. A lot of you viewers may be aware of this, but new viewers may not know. Uh, I tend to kind of get a little crazy when I see coins. Fair warning. Sorry, I, I just money, man. I can't help it. I see the cash. It calls me. Agent Team Six, deploy. Oh, there's someone under, someone in the water there. 
Thank you. Are there sharks in the water? You should be careful. How's your wife doing, Richards? Oh, very well, Dr. M. Thank you for oh. asking. Very thoughtful. Mm -hmm. And your son, uh, what's his name? Mike? Mark, sir. He, he's well, too. Yeah. These are not the voices I expect these things to have. Mm -hmm. It's a shame you won't be seeing him again. Ah, uh, mm -hmm. sir? Afraid I poisoned your drink at lunch. Sorry, Richards, but I don't tolerate poor performance. You poisoned? You change the security code from one, two, three after you installed the new system. I'll improve, I swear. No, you'll die any second now. That's oh. rough. Oh. Ew. And uh. Yes, water leaking into the lab. I'm on my way down. Oh, and get a janitor for the lab elevator. Richard's got sloppy. Bye, Richards. I guess. The Cooper vault is just across these wires. I'm en route to your position for the loot haul. Over. That's messed up. What did Richards do wrong? Just because he made the code one, two, three? Come on, that's a hard pass code. Not anybody's gonna think about that. Think about it. How many people would really in their mind be like, oh man, one, two, three? Oh, no one would ever think of it. Like, think about it. How many of you guys right now have your security codes for like, I don't know, uh your passwords or your debit cards, whatever, one, two, three. Think about it. How hard would it be? Because you're probably thinking one, two, three is the easiest code. Or is it? Because the bad guys will think that. They'll never think it actually is one, two, three. Ooh. Right? Ugh. That green stuff down there. You know what? Don't want to know. Hold down, circle to sneak on edges. Yeah, I did that. Uh oh. Uh, hey, watch the shots. Or circle to deactivate. Yep. The one, two, three is a very brilliant code, man. Just saying. Also, did they say the Cooper Vault? Yeah, they did. Ooh. Hmm, it's perfectly cane sized. Ah. Ah! What a flip! You must be Sly Cooper, the new keeper of the cane. Oh, how I long for this. This vault belongs to the Cooper family. You're trespassing. No, my naive boy, you're trespassing. I have got the deed to this island. This fortress is mine. Everything here is mine. Which now includes the king's that family? And over the king. Sorry, pal. Family heirloom. I moves. Knock at the gift shop. <laughs> yeah, Bentley! Let's regroup with the others. In a wheelchair, huh? Well, time to bail on this. Bayo said, now I can hack at all of these accounts because he likes one, two, three. No, you don't. Sweet I jump for it. I'm jumping for it. Hurry. I'm surprised I didn't hit any of the lasers. Uh oh, time to go. This place is flooding. We don't have much time. I know I'm working on it. Just wait for me. Also, you're in a wheelchair? Man, if only my viewers knew what happened to you at the end of slide two. Frickin' Nila. Excuse me, Clockla. You know, you know. We're almost home free. Nice jump. Wish I could jump that high. The boat's just up ahead. Let's bail. Whoa. Whoa! There's no escape. Got Bentley! You want some of this? Come here! Ah. I press jump by accident. Wow, I take damage like nobody's business. I can't. You're my friend. 
Did it take some of this, stupid? I don't need a cane to be a badass. Oh, well, actually, I, I probably kind of needed that, huh? Man, Bentley, you've been through the ringer, man. Uh-oh, and now I'm going through the ringer. Can't. I'm dead. It was like they always say, your life really does flash before your eyes. Hold on, we turn this up. There it all was, stretching back to my childhood. Flashback. Born into a family of master thieves that went back for generations, I was next in line to continue <laughs> the Cooper name. Yo. What up? But hmm. fate had different plans. I was robbed of my childhood when a ruthless gang attacked our home. Yeah, it was bad. Kind of traumatizing. Sorry, Dad. The orphanage I landed in wasn't all bad. It Aww. was there that I met my lifelong friends. Bentley, he's always been the thinker. And Murray, he's always he's the doer. The eater. Look, he's stealing We'd plant stuck by together Bentley. over the years, and our skill, our confidence, and our thieving reputation grew stronger with each heist. We thought Excuse that me, the good Murray. times would never end, and that our luck would never run out. Which only made things tougher when the odds finally caught up with us. Oh, Bentley, man. Then I met this guy, McSweeney, who claimed to have run with my father's crew back in their heyday. They pulled jobs all over the world and amassed quite a collection of priceless items. It was then that McSweeney told me all about the Cooper Vault. Okay. It seemed that my father, like all my ancestors, had been hiding their wealth in a secret place for generations. That Statue of Liberty? Each one adding to the treasure hidden behind a door that if McSweeney's story is true, only a Cooper can open. Or someone Using with a cane. some well-placed clues provided by McSweeney, we set out for the secret island that held the vault. On arriving, we discovered someone by the name of Dr. M had already set up shop. From the looks of it, he'd been trying to crack the thing for years, growing steadily more frustrated in his failures and more paranoid as the decades rolled by. He built oh. himself a fortress with security as tight as Fort Knox. Getting inside the place would take precision, creativity, and moreover, it Luck. would take an army of world-class thieves. Finding and bringing together that much talent won't be easy, but to get inside the Cooper vault and collect my inheritance, I was willing to pay the price. Which so I put an ad on Craigslist. Sly 3, Honor Among Thieves. Because that's how you do it. You put an ad on Craigslist and then boom, people will join up for it. Wow, Bentley, man, you bid through too freaking much. Oh, gosh. Yeah, I guess I kind of threw it out there, but this is long enough in the video, so sorry-ish, not sorry, but am sorry. We got to talk about it, because Bayo did say leave Bentley alone. He's gone through too much trauma already. Yes. So for those who, you, most of you viewers I'm pretty sure are aware, but for any newer viewers, warning, we're going to talk about a spoiler thing. And I normally don't, but it is crucial for getting people up to speed with this in case people forgot. Because YouTube, it's probably going to be a good week or so since this video comes out, but... Yes, the end of slide two, while great as it was, and because it was amazing, we have to talk about it, left with not everyone walking away too good. More specifically, Bentley. Because the Murray decided not to do his job properly. No, okay, I'm, I'm making a bit, but I, I made issues about it back in the end of slide two, which you should watch there. But yeah, the end of it had a bit of a... Hmm... Let's just say Bentley was crushed under the pressure, so to speak, and as a result, lost the use of his legs. But from what it looks like, Bentley kind of decided to soup up and got something way better as a result. So it's nice to see that Bentley's back, and it looks like the Murray's going to be around too. But yeah, that's what happened, and it left in a way where we thought for sure Sly would be separated from the two. But come on, we're two good friends. Like, the three of us, we're inseparable. There's no way we could separate. Yeah, let's get to it. I'm, I'm excited. Doing the PS3 saves faster. Uh, Hazaru, beginning of the end, two player. Oh, I guess that's just to it. 
Oh, they don't have it as just chapter one, chapter two. They have it as like this now. Okay, so. Darn it. They copied. I was gonna think of this whole thing about how certain angs end. Ugh, whatever. But yes, so for those that it couldn't tell from the obvious, it would appear this game kind of takes place during the flashback, a very long flashback of seeing the events that happen up to now. So we know what's going to potentially end or where it's going to lead to. We need to see how we got there, which was a direction. Now, I don't normally like this. In fact, I don't ever like this. A game or media or anything where it takes place and it's one of those things where it's like, Hi, I'm Bob. Probably wondering how I got here. Well, let's go back. And then it, the whole game or movie takes place in the past. So, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. But we already know where it's going. So let's just get to it with Hazard Room, which I guess is chapter two. If we're gonna make it to the Cooper it's Vault, not. we'll need to perfect our thieving skills. I've rigged this place to push us to our limits. I'm guessing these levers start the different trainers. That's right. Each will initiate a streamlined crash course in grand larceny. I'll head for the control room, and we'll get things started. Dish it out. I'm ready. Where's the Murray? Well, I guess I do it. One percent, huh? I guess uh, I was wrong. Yeah, I guess it wasn't obvious. I know I played Fly 3, but it was many, many, many a moon. So, unfortunately, my memory is crap for. Like, it's it's bad. Like, you might as well just say I don't remember much. But we'll see what happens. Press circle to learn to navigate. Press circle to learn sly spire jump and crawl moves. Oh, I guess we got to start somewhere, so... Let's do it. Okay, all great thieves have one thing in common. A ton of cash. greedy. No, they never get lost. Use the right analog stick to look around the hazard room. Try to find the Cooper gang marker I'm projecting. Use the right analog stick. Oh, it's cool and it shows it. You mean that bad boy? Great. Now press down on the L3 button to ping a waypoint. That's new. That's handy. I agree. These holographic markers are an invaluable tool for finding your way around in the field. Notice how the logo moves to the destination? Try clicking the L3 button a few more times to get the hang of it. Oh wait, no, that's not new. We were able to do this kind of slide too. Okay, head for the waypoint and we'll commence phase two. Hit smash it faster. Oh, uh, let's smash player. Okay, let's go. I've programmed in a new mission destination. Press L3 to find it. The cool thing here is that if you don't have line of sight, the waypoint will automatically stretch above whatever's blocking your view. Cool. Scan the horizon and you'll always find it perfect. Now everyone knows that a thief's best friend is a rooftop. Provided he doesn't break I, his I neck thought it was you. up there. Not a problem for a man with your jumping skills. Hit the X button for a standard jump. Then hit the X button a second time while in the air for an extra high double jump. Bentley, unfortunately, I don't think many thieves IRL can double jump. Well, that's just something you need to you then. Now hurry up and do the jump thing. Nailed it. All right, Bentley. What's next? As you know, it's very useful to survey guards from the rooftops. Fair. To do that, we'll have to be able to look down at them. Let me guess. Use the right analog stick? Yep. No, Try you just look down on the losers. Down there. Like that. Excellent. Now look up at that pillar. I'm projecting another marker. Hello and welcome, and I'm really good as hope I can say your name properly. Uh, Froggy on a lily pad. Oh, that's actually cute. We jumped in for the first time. Welcome, welcome. Said these that can double jump just haven't been caught. That's true. In history, we know. Look at all the famous thieves like Arsene Lupin or... Uh, I can't really think of any thieves. Only the most professional thieves have the ability to double jump. That's the reason why games like Grand Theft Auto you usually get caught. Because you haven't learned how to double jump yet. Look it up. Great! Now put all these skills to use and get to the remaining waypoints. Should be easy if you ping them with the L3 button and look around. I will darn near do my best. Huh. Huh. 
most famous pirates. Yeah. I mean, I think the issue is that if we all have the ability to double jump, then nice. it'll be easy for Peter. But that's it, though. The government doesn't want us to double jump. See, here's where it comes to conspiracy. I think all as viewers, every single one of us can double jump. But they know that if we all were able to use the power to double jump, oh no, we'd be able to steal everything. And they don't want more thieving. Good job, Sly. You made it. You're now ready to take on the meanest of navigation tasks. Might be able to... Hey! What's up? Oh, I missed my bum 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 back in slide too, but whatever. Okay, what's next? Press circle to learn Sly's spire jump and crawl moves. Okay. You picked up a lot of skills after reading the Phoebe's raccoon. Heck of a page turn. Can't hear you. Buzzes aloud. If you remember them all, check out those small points on that wire. You can land on them light as a feather using your ninja spire jump. Easy. I just jump and hit the circle button. Exactly. That's what Try I said. Getting over to the other platform. What did I say, viewers? Jump and hit the circle button. Also, can we like turn down the volume of the Actually, hold on. That might actually be. Can we turn down the volume of Just a little bit. Actually, let's turn it up a down a little bit more. Nope, that's still loud. Okay, well, never mind. We're just gonna have to get through it. I apologize. Also, like I said, welcome, Froggy on a lily pad. I really like. I love that name. That's actually really cute. But nonetheless, welcome, welcome, I am B. Let us give a proper salute. If there's anyone in the audience, I hope you enjoyed this terrible game that you're about to see. <laughs> but for those wondering about the ninja spire jump as I rotate like a goober, this was the skill that you had to unlock in the first game and the second game. It was like, okay, well, you don't need to do this again, so let's just give it to you. Thank God, too, because we had to relearn these moves. Forget that noise. Looking good, Sly. You know how I love the second story work. Sure, but how do you feel about tying spaces? Try getting through the small opening in that wall. Hit the circle button when you're close to crawl inside. You know who I am? I'm the Sly Cooper. Eves need to do four things. Like, we already talked about double jump, but they also have to be able to do three other things. They need to be able to do ninja spire jumps, they need to be able to crawl, and they need to sound smooth like I do. Otherwise, if you can't do any of those four things, then I'm sorry. You're not an accomplished thief. You're a failure. You're a poser. They need to work on that. At least work on your double jump. Now, I actually can say if for like 10 easy payments of 1995, I have this obviously legal medication I could give that will allow gravity to be weakened just enough to allow you to utilize your double jumping capabilities. No, I didn't make that up. Trust me. I'm a licensed nice vitamin. Job, Sly. You're a credit to the Cooper name. Also, that was super easy. Bum bum. It's just not the We're same as Sly. Here. Here. Let's head outside and get this operation underway. Alright. Unless there's anything else to boogie around here, which I don't think there is. So the hazard room's a tutorial room. Got it. Means I messed up, huh? Exit. Alright, well. How do I know it's an exit? Oh, I guess it was an exit. Which means... Oh, no, here we go. We had to do the hazard room in order to do an opera of fear. The next mission. Although... What would two-player be? I've never really done two-player. I'll well, leave the comment section to let me know about that one. Alright, let's do it. We still got time to bid. We got plenty of time. Let's do this. Let's do the actual episode one. An opera of fear. Getting inside a world-class vault would take a team of world-class thieves. A group of specialists each member contributing their own particular talent. Now we hired on Craigslist. It was clear that we needed Murray back. The Not Murray? was I missing a lifelong friend, but his brute strength helped get us out of more Damn, than Murray. a few scrapes in the past. When Bentley was injured during the whole clockwork affair, Murray blamed himself, eventually leaving the team. 
We tried to console him, but going out on his own was something he needed to do. He said he wanted to find his spiritual center. Whoa. He's not we the Murray anymore? Murray ended up in the Australian Outback, where he studied a mystic art called the Dream Time from an Aboriginal guru. From all accounts, things went pretty well, and his teacher even sent him on a walkabout to locations all over the globe to complete the training. Bring her, Murray. These Latest reports have cited Murray in beautiful Venice, Italy, but what he's doing there is a mystery. I just hope he steers clear of the local mob boss, Octavio. Oh. <laughs> Growing up, this face. guy used to be a real celebrity in the neighborhood. Everyone loved to hear him sing opera and said he was destined to be the next great tenor. But just as his career started to take off, musical tastes changed. Suddenly, it was all the about Beatles. rock music, and no one wanted to listen to opera anymore. I listen to opera. I wasn't really he asleep. He to a few fans, and it was these mobsters that took him into the business. Oh. Heading onto this guy's turf was dangerous, but worth it for a chance to make things right with Murray. I gotta get Murray back. All right, Sly Cooper and the gang in. Murray reevaluates his life. But seriously, Murray, that's a jump, man. I guess he's no longer the Murray, which sucks. I'm I'm not gonna be able to get the Murray more. I won't be able to get him to do this again. That's still sad. Oh well. We gotta get him back, man. Venice, Italy, 4:36 a.m. Ooh, that's early afternoon for me, baby. How about you, viewers? Let me know, when are you watching this? And if you're watching this super early in the morning, why are you watching this? Go get some rest. Or, I don't know, do something more productive than watch a random lowly loser like me play Sly Cooper. No? You guys are still here? All right, well, cool. All right, let's have some fun. Wow, Bentley, you're going to town on that wheelchair. Whoa, that's a little close, Sly. Sly has a job to pull off. Press X to play as Sly. Oh wow, that's cool. It like tells you now. Press X to buy gadgets. Oh no, we gotta do this again. Uh, alarm clock and smoke. Oh no, I don't keep my stuff. Oh what the frick? Wait, Bentley gets the alarm clock now. Oh, they revamped the skills and abilities. This is only gonna make sense for those who watched my Sly Two playthrough. But uh, in Sly Two. Both of these were Sly's abilities. It looks like they're changing things up now. I'm curious on that, but whatever. Let's just get to it. Given Murray's criminal past, it seems logical to start our search at the local police station. If he's not already in custody, the cops are sure to have leads on all the crooks in Venice. I'll keep it in mind. Well, let's see here. Oh, God, inverted controls. Hold the flip on. No, 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 no. We are not doing that. Uh, uh, flipping up. Wait. No, that's for the camera. Where is the... Oh, I can't change the binocucon? Oh, that's... I'm just gonna have to get used to it. Oh, okay. So, that's... Awkward. Alright, whatever. Uh, okay, so, police HQ. Any other things? Wait, hold on. Uh... No clue bottles? Really? Can I still do the glider? I don't have the glider! Oh no! I don't have the glider anymore! This is not a fun game anymore. I want my money back, man. I don't have the glider. Alright. I mean, granted, I had to buy it in Sly 2. Oh, I have to buy it again, don't I? Hmm. Oh. Well, that was... Whoops. Heck, is that a cat? Uh, oh! Whatever. Vittoria de Leone. Somebody please, uh, Google Translate and find out what this means in uh, English for me. Because unfortunately, as an uncultured swine I am, I do not know other languages. Where is the police HQ again? I ran past it. There it is. Also, for any new viewers, I'm gonna say this on Twitch. Uh, please give me updates. Unfortunately, I'm not the most tech-savvy. Basically, consider me a Murray when it comes to technology. 
I want to make sure that everyone's comfortable. Is the video quality good? Is the sound quality good? I want to know. If I'm too loud or whatever. I, I will. Well, I hope that you guys are honest with this. That massive dome marks the Venetian police station. The cops around here really like to make an impression. I'm afraid it's a losing battle. Don Octavio runs the show in this neighborhood. It's his security forces patrolling the streets, not the cops. Noted. Noted. Huh. Looks like I found my way inside. Well, that dome is covered in glazed tile. There's no way to climb up there. Oh, come there's on, a will, there's a way. There's always a way. Seriously, God, you can't have anyone else. Kevin Miller nailed Sly. Like, you can't have anyone else. I challenge somebody trying to find a potential next best person. Like, it's kind of one of those things where it's like, when you play, or no, let's use something more obvious. Like, uh, Robert Downey Jr. is Iron Man, right? Like, who else can we possibly have as Iron Man, right? He is Iron Man. So I challenge you. Or Hugh Jackman as uh, Wolvie. Like, who can you find to be replacement? I stand by that decision with Kevin Miller. Let's go in. Hey, Murray? Is that you? Is he in there? Murray. That name That's not Murray. My pants, bro. What? Is that Dimitri? Cooper, you got some fuzzy dice to come around here. You've been smoking Dimitri? those cigarettes a lot, huh? Time, Your no voice punch. changed. See, you're still in jail. And you're still a cracker box. Let's get past what? the name calling and get to business. Looking for main man Murray, eh? Sorry, but I'd rather see you get busted big time! God! Bolita! Shut up! Gotta think of something to keep him quiet. Oh no, there's choices in this game? Oh well, I already know we're gonna make bad choices. Uh, let's see, I could try threatening him, flattery, or cutting a deal. Hmm, what would Sly Cooper, gentle, suave, genius thief, would possibly say to sweeten the deal and make him, you know, comply? Well, it's obvious what I would do. I'd grab him by the neck and hold him and be like, hey, if they want thing, I'm gonna split you in two. Okay, uh, let's see. I mean, it's obvious we should cut him a deal, right? Oop, I pressed the wrong Where's button. that generous nature you're so famous for? I always pegged you as the bigger man in these types Rick, of I situations. Rick, I pressed triangle. I'm a big man. Big with the payback and the sex appeal. <laughs> Got that end? I control the beat on this track. You're just a dancer. I guess that wasn't the right option, but it wasn't bad. All right, cool. Also, hey, you can't say sex appeal in a game like this. Come on now. The rated E10 game. I could try threatening him or cutting him a deal. Uh, I'm curious now. Froggy says, uh, wouldn't Sly just smack with a cane 30 times instead of cutting a deal? Yeah, you know what? You're right. Because honestly, you can't trust the snake or lizard. I'm gonna threaten him. Rat me out to those cops and I'll get thrown in there with you. It'll be a heck of a cage match and we both know who will win. Or did you forget Paris? <laughs> Worth it to see your smug face behind the bars. Damn. Hmm. I guess he had a. Uh, I guess he grew a little bit of moxie since the last time we met. If those cops get their mitts on me, who's gonna break you out of jail? You might get this cell door open, but the cops would throw down and bust me on the way out, and then I'll get the double sentence. <laughs> Grief. He's right. It'll be tough getting him out of here. I need a plan. Maybe I could disguise us both as police, then walk out. Or I can distract the cops so he can get away. Or I can take him up with me up to their vent. I'm certain you look a little slim. I mean, hopefully those clothes of yours are just baggy clothes. I want to imagine you're a thin toothpick of a lizard, so maybe you can fit in the air vent with me. Look, I got in here through an air vent. We can both use it to escape. I can't fit in no vent. You spy my macho frame. I'm packing too much sexy muscle to fit in vent like you stick dudes. I can't take this guy seriously. 
Wasn't he the one back in the first Sly Cooper game who kept saying, Yo, Raccoonus do this or something? I think that was him. Uh, let's see. We can distract- I can distract the cop so he can get away. Or disguise both as police, then walk out. I'm pretty sure I can distract the cops. So, I'm assuming disguise both as police is the wrong answer. I'm gonna press square. Tell you what, I'll steal a couple of police uniforms, we'll suit up, and then just walk out the front door. Man, I'm a fashion all-star. No way, no how I'm dressing up in polyester pig suit. Some things worse than jail. Wow, I feel like that actually was the right answer, but you're just dumb. All right, fine. How about I get the cops' attention, then run for it? Once they're all outside shooting at me, you can slip out no problem. No, that's a plan I can get behind. Dimitri is free, and Cooper is cooked. Key for sale is in head cop lady's office. Okay, great. This other lock won't be a problem. I should be able to crack it by hand. Get me out of here, and I'll find Murray. No sweat. Just keep on the down low and out of sight near them coppers, bro. They're a bad bunch of bunnies. I can't take him seriously. I thank you for your patience, but we're now ready for the presentation. Can't take him seriously, bro. But I thought I'd be back. As we all know, the canals of Venice have been mysteriously filling with tar for the last month. No one is sure of the cause, but the effects have been devastating on the local wildlife and Wait. tourist trade. Our sources believe that this man, Don Octavio, is potentially responsible for the disaster. Carmelita. Fortunately, we've got no hard well, evidence. Well, do something stupid. The pollution. I've yet to receive a warrant to search his opera house mansion, so we're just going to have to do this the old-fashioned way. Get out there and keep your help eyes it. open. I'm not gonna I apologize for this. Mercenaries over How close can I get? Because this is a dangerous assignment. The neighborhood is filled with the Octavio goons. It's a war out. Get tough, or you won't last five minutes. You hear me? You would I'm think you would notice me. The city of Venice needs this situation. Oh, uh oh. <gasps> hey, what's up? Should have figured you'd show up. Grab him, boys. Uh, can we talk about this? Can we discover my cards? That was totally worth it. I uh, come on, like, how could I resist? There's no way I could resist doing it. Why give me the ability to do it if I couldn't get away with sneaking around there? Okay, no, hold on. But we're now ready for the presentation. As we all know, the canals of Venice have been... Also, yeah, holy moly, your cops, like, these are way no different. Sure the Last time it was just you and Nila, now... On the local wildlife and tourist trade. Our sources believe that this man, Don Octavio, is potentially responsible for the disaster. Unfortunately, we've got... Also, no that's a different voice actress. Again! Why? Like, house mansion, so it's not the girl. From, it's not the woman from Sly Two. Old-fashioned way. Get out there and keep your eyes open. I've hired you mercenaries over traditional cops because this is a dangerous assignment. Oh, they're mercs. The they're not cops. The Got it. Oh. It's a war out there. Get tough, or you won't last five minutes. You okay, hear cool. me? That I'm coffee. Paying for results. The city of Venice needs this situation oh, I get the coffee. Now. Okay, I know you boys like things redundant, so I'm going to give you the presentation again. This time, pay attention. You're not getting paid to nap. Just let me get my note cards back in order. Really? No, don't be. Don't do it again. Don't do it again. Your attention, please. Oh, believe me, you have it. For your patience, but uh, Froggy says for the, the Sly 2 voice is definitely the one I prefer. I just talked about that, actually. I As think so far, Sly 2's voice actress, Carmelita, is the best for me. For but uh, we just no started with Sly 3, so cost, maybe you'll... Eh, it won't. Our sources I really want to harass her again. I mean, Sly would totally do it. I'm just playing like Sly... Okay, we, we have a show to run. Ugh. I hate that I have to actually, like, play the game properly. What if I just break this? Get out there and keep your eyes open. Doink! Cell door key. Oh. Head back to Dimitri's cell and free him. If he's true to his word, we'll be talking to Murray in no time. Hope so. Uh -oh. Let's get back to business. Now, where was I? 
Hold tight, boys. The power's on the fritz again. It'll calm down in a few minutes. Better make sure you're under a desk when the lights come back on. Say less. Alright, so what is it? Gonna be lights clicking on and off again? Stay under the tables while I the can see, da. I can lights are on. See. Ah, oh, jeez. Must resist stupidity impulse. I can't fight it. He's just asking for it, man. He's asking for it. Brother, on, off, on, off. Oh, come on. Look, I could just, I could just do it. I could do it. Ugh, fine. I hate that I have to play the game normally. Ugh. There be light. Also, why did they decide to hire Mercs? I know they said it was like a bigger deal, but really, it's that much bigger deal to have to hire these guys? You look a lot better in the dark, Petro. Really, you are an ugly, ugly man. <laughs> you look a lot better in the dark, Petro. Really, you're an ugly, ugly man. I can see, da! I can see! Also surprised I was able to do that quite well, my first impression. I normally can do impressions somewhat okay, but I need to be able to hear it in order to do better. You look a lot better in the dark, Petro. Really, you are an ugly, ugly man. <laughs> Petrov is trying, all right. It's not easy for uh, for when you're born ugly, all right. Unfortunately, this reason. Actually, funnily enough, Petrov doing this job specifically because of money necessary for face reconstruction surgery. So absolutely necessary. Uh oh. Actually, which way to go? This was wrong way. Need to go that way. That would be smarter choice. But yes, there be light. Petrov need do this order to be able to be this attractive. Want to look like famous people like I don't know, Brad Pitt Young or Ryan Gosling. Not end up looking like uh I can see da I can see like Terrace Top, but born as pumpkin. Ah oh, jeez. There, need to go a little bit further. You look a lot better in the dark, Petrov. Really, you are an ugly, ugly man. I think Petrov <laughs> is going to hurt you. You could you keep talking about Petrov. Leave him alone. Mother thinks he looks good, so that's what matters. Here we go. Can you really crack this coconut? Sure, just takes a light touch. Good. Let's see some shine, bro. What did it say? Uh, Tilt left analog spring, stick, right until you feel a vibration. Then circle left, then right. Wow, it is we'll like a safe. Oh, hell yeah, dude. I've seen you open harder locks. Slowly rotate the left analog stick until you feel a vibration. Stop, then go in the other direction. Oh. Again, feeling for the vibration. Got it. Then a reverse direction again, and stop when you get the third vibration. Once the green light goes on, let off the stick and you're in. Oh, gotta be a little faster. Wait, oh, left, right, whoops. Wait, it says right until you feel a vibration, then circle left. Oh, was I not doing it right? Okay, there we go. There we go. Sorry, I was doing it the wrong order. My bad. Hold it like that, it's bro. Why are you smoking in here? I'll do they like let you do that? And distract the cops so you can make your escape. Sally, don't worry, no mind. Straightway our password for Murray to find you. Meet at Rialto Bridge. Big Italian landmark. Okay. Done. Guess it's showtime. So how are we gonna distract the cops? Alright, we're just gonna go out here, huh? Alright. Hello, assorted meatheads. And lady. And hot lady. Anyone feel like some exercise? Cooper. What's Grab up, hotness? Uh oh. And I'm out. See, I love 
chasing women. I don't like it when the opposite. Damn, she caught up quick. Holy crap. Jesus. Well, I guess foxes were actually bred to help chase. You know what? No, let's just, let's just move on. Time for me to, you know, go. At least she still has the aim of a stormtrooper, right? She still sucks with her shots. You've got some serious nerve showing up in my squad room. I was concerned we were growing voice change apart. again? Or... Then let's spend some quality we'll time together in my interrogation cell. So forward. What happened to the demure girl I used to know? She grew up and stopped taking grief from guys like you. Guys like me? Wait. Are you saying I've got some competition for your affection? You're the only man in my sights right now. We literally got whoa, not innuendo or anything. Hey, at least your accuracy still sucks. You're still basically a stormtrooper. Look. Oh, okay. Well, maybe your aim is a little bit better. I stood there for a good second though. Nope, your accuracy still sucks, but. But yeah, know it. Eh, it's good to take some getting used to. Slide three voice actors for Carmelita. I mean, yeah, the tension is still awesome. Like, clearly these two want each other, but... I don't know, it just doesn't feel as good as the Sly 2 one. I think it's a little better than the Sly 1 Carmelita. But to be fair, again, it is the beginning, so... As we progress, I guess we'll see. You should watch where you're going, Carmelita. You shouldn't just, you know, shoot aimlessly. It'd be bad if you, uh... Hurry! Whoa! Greetings, old. Inspector Hurry! Watch out! Oh. Man, you're in it again! Hope that manual works both ways. That's right! Hide in the sewers like the rat you are! I'd be mean about it, jeez. Hey, buddy. You look. Thanks for the quick escape. Big. I owe you one. Again. Of course, Searcher. We are all in need of peace. You're really whole hog like? on this Dreamtime stuff, huh? My mind is clear. Like the woodland after a forest fire. Listen, Murray, we need Can we to hit him and get him back to the Murray? Bentley, it wasn't your fault. He doesn't blame you for the wheelchair. Sorry, Sly. I walk a different path. My guru, in his wisdom, told me to lose myself and not return until the black water ran pure. So here I stay. What? You sure he didn't tell you to get lost and not come back until you cleaned out the water filter? Come on! I'm on a real spirit quest here! Oh, sorry. there's the Murray. Sorry. Tell me everything. I've missed you, pal. Aww. Well, it's a long and awesome story. You got any gum? You shouldn't eat gum. It makes you hungrier. It fools your mind, but it makes you even hungrier than before. But yeah, alright, that was done. 1%. Oh boy, this is going to be a long game. Murray refuses to join the gang and tell the commitment to his right. guru has been can't take this seriously. Whether we like it or not, we've got to deal with Venice's tar problems in order to, as Murray puts it, make the black water run pure. Thanks to Inspector Fox's fine detective work, we already know that Don Octavio is somehow connected. As non-law operatives, we'll be able to tackle the situation in a more head-on fashion. Just First, we us. break into Octavio's opera house. If he's hiding anything, we'll find him. We should also keep a close eye on the Don. Some photographic evidence of him connected to the tar might be enough to get the old mobster put away. Of course, meanwhile, I'll monitor local communication frequencies. With some luck, we might pick up some quality intel. Really kind of souped up that wheelchair, huh? And yeah, well, I didn't want to be crippled forever. This is a reminder, of course, on the side of Twitch that... New training challenges are available for Sly and Bentley in the Hazard Room. Would you like to play the remaining challenges? Well, so here's why I'm going to hit yes. I don't know what new things they've done to Sly and Bentley. Plus, I do want to give this as best as I can and go for a damn near 100%, even though it's probably not going to affect the game. So let's go to the Hazard Room. I can't take Murray seriously with that new look of his. I just can't. All right, what do we got here? A circle to learn Sly's hook, pipe, and wall hook climbing moves. Press circle to learn about interacting with guards. 
I don't know why I said it like that, viewers. I, I maybe turned into a robot. All right, well, let's do it. circle button doesn't solve the problem. That doesn't make sense. You're always supposed to jump and hit the circle button. The game is called jump and hit the circle button. That was called sliding rage. If you ever get in the jam and smart to climb your way out of trouble. I hear that. Press the circle button near that pipe to latch on and climb. Oh, that's what they meant by the pipe. Sorry, I don't know why I thought it was something completely different. Oh, darn it, I wanted to see if I could land without touching the bosses. Easy. I just love pipes. Is that okay? Sure, they're a thief's best friend, but don't forget wall hooks. How could I forget the lovable wall hook? Press the circle button to attach. Wait, 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 wait. Hold, hold, hold on. To launch off them, you'll have to pull down on the left. Go for a second. Didn't they just say a while ago that rooftops were a thief's best friend? And now they said pipes are a thief's best friend? Okay. What? You can have more than one best friend. But this is kind of new. We only got to do it like in one area back in slide two, so. That's it, I give. You've made it through all my challenges. Hey, don't feel bad. Those wall hooks were kind of tricky. It was all supposed to be tricky. Laddie, how do you prove that you know how to get around? A word to the wise. Anywhere you sense a thieving opportunity, you know, see the blue sparkles, you can use a circle button move. It's always the circle button. Yes. Yes, it is. Remember that, viewers. You know what? That's what it takes to become a master thief. Not being able to double jump like Froggy said. Not because of options or anything like that. The best thing for a thief is the circle button. It's just like that. Press circle to learn to use your spy cam. I might as well just do them all. I'll learn some way. And even though I know... All right, Bentley. Oh, hey. Let me have it. Where's this guy come from? In order to maintain our lavish lifestyles, we we'll always need to have a little cash on hand. I hear you. Most guards it. are nice enough to carry around a pocket full of change. Exactly. You can pick their pockets by sneaking up behind them and pressing the circle button. This guy looks like he's carrying some loot. If I steal it, you can fence the goods online for some cash. That's or right. Pizza. Look for a glow in a guard's back pocket. Sure sign of something valuable. Try picking his pocket dry without getting noticed. I'm sure I will get noticed. What was that? That was a new sound effect. Whatever. Doink! You get a prize. 21. Okay, that's enough of that guy. Oh, you killed him! That's it messed won't up. It always be that easy. Guards are usually on the boot. As long as I don't bump into him, it shouldn't be a problem. All right, smooth talker. Try robbing this guy. Ooh. Froggy says, a nice change is that treasure is sold automatically as you get it. No! My collection, my, my hoarding tendencies. That, that goes against what I raised myself to do back in slide two. Slide two, I was like, I want to keep all the treasures. Now I can't do it anymore. Oh, great. Well, fine. Whatever. I'll just see how much money I can make at the end of this game. One coin? One coin? Cheap guards? Uh, uh. Doink! Eh, he'll do. Crates away. Stop killing these guys, Bentley! Now, as any good thief knows, a job is only as successful as the getaway that's planned. I hear that. Some guards are not too keen on friend. fighting toe to toe. Anyway. You're not going to say I'm a lover, not a fighter. Well, not now. Thought so. Look, there's no shame in running from a fight. Keeps you alive. Hold down the R1 button to sprint. Sounds easy. Prove it. I'm going to have this guard attack you, and you'll have to run away to lose him. Well, hold on. Wait, what? Ready, set, go. Wait, you, you, you gave me three seconds. Dude, give me like three seconds to prepare for that nonsense. Freaking Bentley. 
Let me guess. It's because I ate the last pudding. I'm Where sorry. Nice escape, Sly. Uh -oh. An unfortunate fact about running is that you make a lot of noise. Spread by a guard, and he's sure to notice you. Well, if I'm already running, might as well keep going. Good right. point. How about you try that? Run to this waypoint within six seconds, and then try and escape from the guards if they hear you. I think Bentley's Come trying on. to get me Ready, killed. Uh, don't shoot me! Hey, easy! Watch the shots! Hey, 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 easy! I think Bentley's trying to get me killed, like, legitimately. How about you stop setting these guards up to kill me? Yeah! Well, you could always take them out instead. Now we're talking. If now the we're guard talking. hasn't seen you, you could sneak up behind him. You paying attention? This is complicated. Of course. Uh, we're talking yeah, whatever. About taking out guards. Right. Sneak up behind him and hit the triangle button to knock him into the air. Then press the square button to slam him down hard. Sneak attack. Nice. So that's the triangle button to knock him into the air. The square and to the slam. Square button huh? for the slam. Well, if there's you one thing a Sly Cooper loves to do, business. give the guy the business? Well, if there's two things that Sly Cooper loves to do, is to slam and get to business. No, that was not innuendo, but it can be if you want it to be. Huh! Huh! I've had fantasies like this. Uh oh slam makes noise. Do it too close to another guard, and he'll be all over you. It's easy. You take out the first so guy, you then hide out when the second thug comes running. Wait until his back is turned, then strike. Try taking out both these guards without being caught. Yeah, I'm sure I'll be able to do it perfectly fine. All right, well. I love this sound. Uh. You notice? Fly to say like the cringiest lines with the smoothest voice. It's like I guess you're about to get the business. Nice work. I pity the guard that crosses your path. Easy sauce. But there's more. For the showstopper. See that boat slog up above that poor unsuspecting guard? Yeah. Yeah. Feel like dropping it on his head? Oh yeah. Whoa. This button will release the boat. Make sure the guard's under in shadow before you, you know, knock him senseless. Or kill him. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's all right. Bentley, I think the biggest question I have here is, where are we getting these guards from? We, these people are being sent to the hospital or dying. And Bentley's like, well, I mean, yeah, but they were cheap, so it's fine. They didn't care. I don't think that's the point, but. Look at those buttons around town. The place is littered with unsafe machinery. Know what I mean? I understand the spit that you're flapping. Yeah, I kill people. That's the sorry. The sly literally had that smile of like, oh, I totally crushed these fools. That's so not right. <sighs> no animals were harmed in this video. If you agree with it, then make sure viewers to follow or subscribe because Ida will be on me otherwise. Alright, one last one. As you know, we sometimes need reconnaissance photographs to plan for a heist. Because uh, they're the thieves' best friends. Recon photo. Recon the photos. Sung hero of many a caper. I've outfitted your binocular with a camera. Click down on the right analog stick to bring it up. I tell you, Bentley, you designed this thing really well. The left analog stick aims where you want to look, and the right analog stick lets you zoom in and out. So easy. Why, thank you. Try to get a good picture of that chair suspended from the ceiling. You might have to zoom in a little. Press the R1 button to take the shot. I was just waiting for you to stop talking. It's a chair. No duh. Of course, it won't always be so easy. Sometimes you'll need to get a better vantage point. That shouldn't be too difficult. But <laughs> Wish I could jump that high normally. Your targets can also be moving makes getting a good shot that much more difficult. It's okay. 
So long as I'm quick with the zoom, I'll be fine. Let's put it to the test. Take a picture of each of these guards without getting caught. Wait, wait. Done. What? Object hidden? What are you talking about? Okay, whatever, game. You know what? There. Too far? Alright, hang on. Too far? Okay, hang on. There. Done. Nailed it. Say I'm not a genius. There you go, Bentley. Did you just Some kill them again, Bentley? Our refrigerator. They're lovely. High art. Seriously? No, but you've shown some real skill with a Monocucov's camera. Nice work. Everyone knows in order to take a better picture, you just get really close to your target and then just hold it right to their face and take a pic. Now, I'm not going to do it in front of them because that would fail the mission, but I can have fun in this game if I need be. Uh, press circle to learn Bentley's special moves. All right, which is what I'm looking forward to because now yeah, Bentley's got wheels now. Yeah, this goes. All right, Bentley. Things can get pretty rough out in the field. You'd better be prepared. Preparation is my middle name. My oh, wheelchair is Winchester. totally equipped. Good to hear. As a resident demolitions expert, you'll need to be handy with the bombs. No problem. Just have to hold down the triangle button, and out comes the goods. Okay, try dropping a bomb on that crate over there. Go over and press triangle to drop a bomb on the box. Okay, I'll go drop a bomb. <clears throat> I think people that eat pineapple with their pizza are dumb. No, I'm just kidding, I'm kidding. I like pineapple pizza. Here's a bomb for you. That's some quality pyrotechnics, but how are your bombs versus guards? Against sleeping guards, I'm like a Greek god. All fall before me. Arrogant, aren't Let's we? Let's see what you got. Man, you're really just kind of really own this, uh, this wheelchair. <laughs> okay, I need to stop goofing off. Here, have a little of that. Nice work. Have these guards. Now, how about someone awake? I just put them to sleep, too. My chair's been outfitted with a top-of-the-line sleep dart launcher. In fact, I even linked it to my Binocucom. Smart. So you oh, just off. click the right analog stick to bring it up. And to shoot, I press the R1 button. Have you got a zoom function on that thing? Might be fun to snipe at a distance. Hang on. Let me just yep, get a little closer. It's all on the right analog stick. Try taking out that guard. Might have to zoom in a little. He's pretty far away. He's pretty far away? I'm pretty sure I can figure that out real quick. Hey, you think this is close enough? Find out. Nice. Now get over there and bomb him before he wakes up. Alright, Bentley. You make this satisfying. Look easy, but how's your aim against moving guards? With a zoom function and nerves of steel, I'm ready for anything. I just plant the bomb. Like if I know his projective, all right, you know what? Fine, I'll just do it normally. <laughs> Sleep dreams, loser. That chair is pretty sweet. Got any other gizmos in there? Oh yeah, it's my own design. The pickpocket pull, or the PPP for short. A I'm not calling it with that. A magnet? Ingenious, huh? By default, it's linked to the L1 button. And you can rob someone with that thing? I just keep the really? L1 button held down, sneak up behind a guy, connect with the magnet, then pull back to yank out the loot. Sounds just like fishing. Try with it on money. this guy right here. So Bentley can now pickpocket, huh? <laughs> it really is just a fishing pole with a magnet. <laughs> okay. Never this this game's too good. Now to sneak on the unsuspecting target. 
Wait, this is this is it. This is the this is I want this to be the, the screenshot. Feel free to viewers who are bored, take this image right now. This animation, this pose right now. I could zoom in and only on Bentley I would, but take this, do whatever you want, have fun, worlds. This is your picture. It's too stupid. I love it. I better keep these coins. Yes! I didn't immediately make that face. Okay. He served his purpose. I'm impressed with your pickpocketing technology, but how is it against someone in motion? Allow me to demonstrate. I just hold down the L1 button. Hold L1, Attach pull. Got it. Cool. Pull. Let's go, Captain. Be easier. But it's nice that Bentley can now pickpocket. I don't have to rely on just Sly. And I don't even have to pull back. I can just let him go on his own and just reap the benefits. I'm surprised your arms don't get tired doing this, but my arms feel like I've turned to noodles by the time I'm done with this. Yoink! And he's dead, because we are cruel. That chair of yours is a wonder. Can I borrow it? So much technology into such a small space. Go Bentley! Oh god, it's such a good frame. We're all done in here. Let's head outside and get this operation underway. Alright, I can dig it. Oh god, they already made this game better than Sly 2. How do you have done much? Ugh, how do we get better? Let's go back to it. Oh, we can see the cutscenes again. Cool. Jobs and challenges. Break into police headquarters to look for Murray. If he's in jail, you'll need to bust him. Oh! I can replay the jobs now! Yeah, we weren't able to do that back in Sly 2. Sly 1, technically you could replay the levels, but Sly 2, once you beat a job, you're kind of it. The only perk of replay was just to get clue bottles, but it's kind of nice you now to be able to replay a job. Can we please cut that music down a little bit? No? Okay, let's just move on then. Also, do I keep the coins from the challenge? I was at 89, so I'm just gonna... Oh, actually, it was a little higher than that. Oh, wow, I do keep the coins. Cool. Operation Day 1. Oh, God. I cannot imagine this game being greater. Uh, let's see what we got. We have Sly's Octavio Snap and Bentley's Canal Chase. Unless there's any... Oh, nope. And we also got Sly's Into the Depths. So two Sly's. Go make a right. Well, time to go loot some money while I'm at it. I'll have to get used to the fact that I'm not able to keep the treasures. But I guess it's cool. Oh, hey, what's up? Get back over there. Thanks. What does this do? Is this just to do the spin? I guess it is. Alright, um, let's see. What time is it? Because technically, I did do Sly 2 a little earlier. I think I'll just do one mission. I'll do the Octavio Snap. And then I'll say for viewers, uh, like, this is kind of obvious here, but this is replacing Sly 2 now. So if you want to see more or follow me. I'll be usually doing this regularly, so make sure to follow, make sure to turn on those notifications, or YouTube. You can find me on YouTube. I'll be uploading this regularly. I'll stick with the schedule, as always. But, uh, yeah, I'm gonna just do one other mission, and then we'll just call it. I think it's nice and balanced. We've done a good amount. It's a good, like, start to it all. Oh, so I'm gonna rob a people blind while I do. We'll still a sec. You don't mind. Look at that. Doink! It's gonna be interesting not having to uh, collect loot and just sell it. I didn't mind having all that loot. I kind of figured as a thief it was nice to just hoard stuff. Then again, I'm just buying it. You know where it is, dude. I'm just getting some coins because for some reason, breaking down these old wooden chairs is more lucrative than stealing from the guns. Oop, shouldn't have done that. Actually, I can make it. But yeah, we'll do this one mission after I destroy this guy real quick. 
or girl, then we'll call it an episode. Whoops. Oh, uh, see ya. Heads up, Sly. I've intercepted a radio message from one of Octavio's men. The Dawn is moving towards your position. Great. You so want me do to I take just him? knock him out? No. We need evidence that he's behind this city's tar epidemic. Oh. With some incriminating photos, we might be able to help the cops prosecute him and put an end to this nonsense. I just don't like us. Yes. thought we'd be helping out the cops. Really? You always seem eager to aid Inspector Fox. Yeah, well, well yeah, she's, she's got... different. Your average law enforcer oh isn't that, I don't know, attractive. Bear. Hold up, here he comes. What can Sly say? He's going for some tail. Oh, that's despicable. Ew. Get a picture before he finishes. This is perfect. Use your binocular cop to take photos. Uh, controls. Excellent. I'll do. A few more of these, and the cops will bury this guy. Follow him. That's he might be headed for some more polluting. Do you have any money? Can I loot him? Eh, probably shouldn't play around. Even though I really want to. It sounds like something from South Park. Again? Unfortunately, I saw this guy. Oh. That well, this is not a good angle to do it. I guess more of a bird death trap now. He's on the move again. Keep it up, Sly. This oh, I didn't get caught. Work. Wow, I'm awesome. I was sure I was toast. Also, why you got the one guy here? Come on, man. Just stuck with opera, buddy. Yeah, opera for you may suck, but for the rest of us. Oh. Whoops. Uh, I'm good. I'm good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Totally good. Oh, now we're not. Wait, what the frick? Where'd he go? I... We're good. Totally good. Where's he going? Imagine flogging a delightful water wheel with deadly sticky tar! Oops. Monstrous! Nailed it! Keep on it! We want to make sure all this horrible polluting is fully documented! We're good! Ugh! Look, I gotta follow this guy instead. Believe me. Well, I had half a mind to rob all these people, but no, I gotta do the mission. Wow, he really is not paying attention. Uh oh. He seems to be working a switch, but there's no tar anywhere. Yes. Get a photo anyway. Of him? Got it. 
Uh, camera. Oh, where is it going to? Let's follow the pipes. Oh, ew. I can't believe it. He flooded that aquarium with tar. All those poor dead fish. As much as I hate to see what heinous crime this fiend will do next, you should probably keep on his tail. Literally. Someday the people will know the truth due to your pictures. To be fair, those fish probably deserved it, right? Like, I can't imagine. Okay, sorry. Let's not do that joke. Now where is he going? Get that engineer on the horn. Sly, see if you can latch on to the car Octavio is riding in. We should eavesdrop on his phone conversation. From the look on his face, it seems important. As you request. Just don't pay attention, big guy. This energy of us. This Ferris wheel was a good idea. She's a pop on the tar fast. Giovanni, oh, from a Pokemon, Pokemon the leader of the Team Rocket. But still, is it gonna be enough to get things ready for my opera recital? Well, uh, when the people come to see me sing, I wanna make a show. They keep a coming. Even if they don't forget. One way or the other, there be opera fans again. Hey, 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 hey. How oh, evil. Yes, yes. That fiend! He's twisted a time-honored amusement park ride into a tool for wrongdoing! Break open the control panel with your cane. I'm on my way to do a little rewiring. As you request, buddy. Wow, you got here quick. Look away if you must. You're about to witness the dark side of electrical engineering. I can't Kill imagine me that. A bunch of poor innocent bad. fish, will he? Uh. That'll do. Bentley, we got friends. We should probably. Yeah, okay, I was about to say. We should probably bail. But what exactly did you do? Oh my god, Bentley's killing so many people. Oh, he changed since Sly 2, man. <laughs> did it. But god, that's so savage. Also, 2%? Whatever. We need to have a, we need to have a discussion, Bentley. I, I don't know what happened between this and the third game. Other than, you know, how to be on a wheelchair. Which, I guess you're not really happy about becoming a new Joe Swanson. But we really need to discuss this. But... I guess we could discuss this on the next episode. So yes, viewers, this is where I'm going to cut it because this is a great start to it all. Thank you all for tuning in for this lovely playthrough. Yes, we are continuing the slime marathon long and strong. Yes, that was another innuendo. But on the next episode, we'll probably do that, uh, where was it? This Into the Depths mission before we go see if we can have a little fun with Bentley. They've definitely done quite a few bits of changes. Not only did they give us, oh, actually, I should probably get this upgrade, uh, a new ability for Sly before I end it. Uh, not only did it just feel different playing a Sly, but they revamped quite a few things. It's gonna be interesting playing this game. Not gonna lie, it's gonna be very, very interesting. But I'm looking forward to it. Smoke bomb! Just see what this bad boy's like. Guessing a square. Uh, smoke bomb. Let's do it as L1. Which is literally probably the exact same thing in slide 2, where I just tap my cane and do it. Oh, no, actually... Oh, that's a lot. Huh. Don't know where that enemy came from. The smoke bomb was supposed to get rid of cover, and I guess it attracted it. It's like, oh, smoke. I don't know. Well, nonetheless, like I said, on the next episode, we'll do the last, uh, the next slide mission before we do some Bentley. So thank you all for tuning in. On behalf of all you viewers, as well as you newer viewers like Froggy, I cannot welcome you enough, and I hope that you'll be able to join in for more of these endeavors. I will definitely be making this a Monday thing, so I can't thank you all enough for tuning in, and I am so looking forward to seeing you all in the next episode. It's not even funny. I know you guys are going to join me for this. It's a new playthrough, man. Come on, get hype, get hype, and then when you're done getting hype, 
get hype again. But Ness, make sure to follow, make sure to subscribe. Seriously, I love you all, and I can't wait to see you all in the next episode.